All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television show in the history of the world. I'm Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be reviewing Dark Fall by Dean Koontz, Dean R. Koontz. Is that the way all of his... That's crazy. I've never seen the Dean R. Let's go over to all of my other Dean Koontz books and see. So this is my Dean Koontz library. Got all the Dean Koontz books there. I don't see Dean R. Koontz on any of these books. They're all just Dean Koontz. I just barely noticed that um, when I held this book up to the camera. Dean R. Koontz. That's crazy. Why? Tell me, people, why is this one book say Dean R. Koontz? Anyway, I've, I've baffled myself. I'm vexed. I'm seriously vexed. Anyway, it came out in 1984. Now, this is a fun read. Let's talk about the cover first. Uh, it's, of course, we've got the unique Dean R. Koontz. It's got to be a misprint. Do I have the one and only misprint that's worth $12 billion? I don't know. Seems like it. That's blowing my mind. Dean R. Koontz. Holy camoly. Anyway, it's got a painting of a, a police car. No, it's got a painting of it looks like a cathedral and an empty car in a snowstorm with some sort of like spiritual like stuff like there, people's souls are leaving their bodies or something like that. I mean, it's all right. It's okay. I'm just more fascinated by the R in Dean Koontz than, than Dean R. Koontz. I mean, my God. What's happening, folks? Are we in an alternate universe? I don't know. Anyway, did this book, was it teleported from an alternate universe? My God. Suddenly, a lot of stuff in the book's making more sense now. Anyway, so it's a fun read. Koontz and Dean, Koontz, Dean R. Koontz himself. Uh, in the afterword, there's a little afterword in this book where he talks about why he wrote the book and stuff. Uh, he said the book has no deeper meaning. It's just, I just wanted to write a uh, breezy, entertaining novel. Um, and it, that's what it is. It's kind of like that. It's a cross between horror, police procedural, it's kind of love story. It's got comic, comedic dialogue, probably probably the most comedic dialogue in a Dean Koontz novel since TikTok, or actually, I should say TikTok, um, came after this. So this was probably, this was the first foray into like a comedic, a little bit of a comedic novel that Dean Koontz has done, or Dean R. Koontz has done. And then Dean Koontz, Dean Koontz, not Dean R. Koontz, but Dean Koontz did TikTok, which was one of the funniest horror novels I've ever read. I love that book. Um, anyway, uh, so it starts out, a prologue, a, gr a little girl named Penny, she's 11 years old, she's just as alone in her bed at night, and she hears things go bump in the night, she goes off to explore what might be making the noises, and of course we get a creepy, uh, you know, little scene there, and then something jumps out of the shadows at her, and cut scene, we don't know what it was. And then we get to another little prologue where Vince who's a man of some note and station in the community, I won't say what, his bodyguard is killed by some strange and undescribable creature. We don't see the creature. It's another one of those creepy scenes where something jumps out at the last minute, cut scene. And then we um, get to, uh, well, Vince is killed too, and his bodyguard. Then we get to our two main characters, Jack and Rebecca. They are investigators in New York City. This is a very wintry New York City, thus the winter scene on the front. And um, and they've just kind of got a... These two investigators are investigating these crimes, and they've sort of got a wry, absurd... Absurd? I don't think that's the word. Absurd. A very wry, absurd, off-the-cuff humor about their banter and dialogue. It's pretty entertaining. Um, they end, there's four more corpses that end up happening in this investigation that they've got to investigate each more each murder or death or corpse is more mutilated than the next um and it either looks like now they're they're thinking okay most of these they, they're thinking it's gangland um war it's just a gangland war 
Um, but when they investigate these bodies, it doesn't look like just gunshots and knifings. It looks like something's really been eating the bodies, but they can't find, and they think it's like something small, like rats or something, but they can't find any rat hair. They can't find any animal hair on the crime scenes. They don't find any rat poops or rat droppings or anything like that. So they're just kind of like, they're left with no clues. Um, is it, is it a monster? Is it rats? Is it a serial killer? Is it a gangland war? Those are the things that need to be find, found out in this book. So it's kind of like this um, X-Files sort of little adventure with uh, Jack and Rebecca sort of being the Mulder and Scully in this sort of, is this a supernatural killing spree? Is this just a regular killer? Um, who knows? Or is it just gangsters being gangsters? Anyway, I liked Dark Fall quite a bit. Um, good early Dean R. Kuntz book. And um, whoever that is. I mean, I know uh, Dean Kuntz writes really good. Dean R. Kuntz is pretty dope himself. Um, I give this about an 8.5 out of 10.